US pre-market movers and specific chart levels. Okay. Uh, right, well, we're, we're going to look at Salesforce, first of all, uh, as a pre-market mover. We talked about them as a possible bid candidate uh, in recent weeks. They had their numbers yesterday. Stock's up around 4.32% this morning. Better uh, figures, better subscription revenues, sharply higher their subscription revenues, sort of double-digit growth there. Um, still not making profits per se um, at the moment, but, uh, but the management is upbeat and the numbers do look a lot better and... 4.3%, as I say, bet they're, they're better on the day, possibly going to trade higher than that in the, the uh, main session. Um, moving across to NetApp, NTAP is the ticker there. They're down 10%. Um, earnings miss. They were reporting Q4 numbers rather than Q1. Right. But they missed, missed on earnings last night. Very weak guidance uh, from the digital storage group, and the market's called them down 10%. Management did hold its hands up, said that they... They appreciate they hadn't done well enough and they're, they're putting things in place to uh, to try and stop that for next quarter. Nonetheless, uh, a 10% fall, quite substantial, it's, it's an $11, $12 billion company. And in terms of uh, levels to watch today, um, very quiet on equity markets. So for uh, for the downside in FTSE, we look at 69.45 and to the upside, 7,050. Uh, the DAX, slightly narrow range, but uh, but still... Still a couple of hundred points. <laughs> 11,602, your downside level, and 11,848, uh, the upside. Um, in, in terms of the US markets, uh, we've just they were pretty much unchanged last night, but we have just raised our upper level in the S&P to 2135, uh, 2100. That round number remains in place on the downside. Uh, in the Dow, 18,208 would be a level I would watch uh, to the downside. Well, at 18,352, we need to get above that to make uh, further uh, good Headway. new highs. Yeah. Uh, and then in terms of the currencies, uh, Euro dollar 110.62 is our downside level, 111.80. On the upside, uh, currency actually weathered the, the negative PMI data this morning pretty well, I thought. Um, Aussie dollar back below 80, so 78.60 is our downside level to watch. 79.14, we'd need to get above that really to, to get back to 80 and move on to the upside. Uh, dollar yen, uh, 120.48, our downside level, 121.40, the upside. It, it hasn't really broken out of the range, just maybe moved a bit closer to the top end of it yep. and in cable um, better on the uh, on the retail sales data so uh, 155.86 our downside level and 157.05 is the number to beat if we're going to make a further move to the upside. The levels all seem much calmer this week. Yeah they are that the, there is a lot less volatility around this week uh, whether it's because we've got a, you know a bank holiday weekend here and in the states coming up I don't know but uh, um, things do seem to be a bit calmer. Famous last yes, words. Indeed. Okay.